Yesterday I was in Bricks and Minifigs and I bought this bag of bricks. Now I'm wondering if it was a good deal or not. So I'm going to sort through them and compare their value to Bricklink. Now I actually went to the store for the small burp that I needed for my big ugly rock piece video. But right before checking out, I noticed there was a loose one in the bulk Lego bin. So I thought I'd go ahead and fill up a bag. Sometimes they have discounts on their bulk Lego, but today it was just the full price of $20. But the owner did compliment me on my bag stuffing abilities. Since the rock piece was the only thing I really needed, I just picked out parts that I thought I would likely use in my future mocks. And then of course I grabbed all the small one by one pieces that I could to fill in all the gaps in the bag. So let's take a look at what I got. In addition to that small burp, I got a couple of these big wagon wheels. I'm gonna use them in a mock coming up for a water tower. Originally I was gonna use the ones from the Daily Bugle, but they have those Spider-Man stickers on them and they didn't really fit. Horse harness, I got four white door frames. Those will come in handy. And I got another one with those horizontal bars. I've never had one of those, so that's kinda cool. Got a green door and a light gray door, four clear doors and four clear window panes. The next main thing I got were green bricks. Oh man. Eventually I want to add some green hills to my city, so I figure I'll start stocking up on green bricks now. I got some 2x4s, 2x3s, lots of 2x2s, some 1x4s, 1x2s, some 1x1s for some accent colors, lots of slopes, 1x2s, 1x3s, 2x2s, some tall ones, some inverted ones, some complex ones, some rounded slopes and some modified bricks, just to add more detail here and there. I also got a few other bricks in gray, just for some mountains and stuff. And then I also got some profile bricks because masonry bricks and grill ones are always coming handy. Another main thing I got were tiles. I'm always running out of tiles and when I'm building a mock, I always have to steal them from other sets and then replace them later and it's super annoying. So I got a bunch of gray tiles and then a lot of one by twos because they don't take up much room. Some more bigger tiles and then lots of jumpers. I always need jumpers. So I got some two by twos and then lots of one by two jumpers. Some of these modified plates for modular floors. As many one by one tiles as I could find to help fill in all those gaps in the bag. Didn't have too many. There were probably more in the bin, but I was kind of in a hurry, so that's what I got. And then a lot of green slopes, just to add some detail to whenever I make those hills. Got some random small plates in various greens, again, for the hills. And then a lot of cheese slopes, both single and doubles, mostly in green, but also in grays and tans and browns. I also got other odds and ends. Got some crates, trash cans, barrels. All those will go in the city eventually. Chairs, a nice sand green dish piece. I don't know, I like that. Wagon wheel, and some window panes, and a lot of glass windows, which I'm always in need of more of those. Found a few odds and ends for details. Got a minifigure backpack, some leaf pieces, a couple of bones, some handcuffs, binoculars, flintlock, some horns and a hot dog. I even found some prints on the table, which is a surprise to me. Got a radar, some gauges, a Chevy sticker, front of an Iron Man car, says Lola, tape for a camcorder, an iHeart Heart Lake City tile, Arctic tile for whenever I do my Arctic scene, a video helmet kind of thing, an electric sticker on a flag. I couldn't find that on Bricklink. That might just be a kid made that. This printed piece was the base of the Taz minifig, a juice brick, and then a green brick with an eye. I just thought that was a green brick. A little Star Wars print, top of a soda can. I like that waffle with the strawberry. A record, a little puke thing or whatever that's supposed to be. Music sheet. And my favorite is this wanted poster of a minifig. So the total for all these pieces on Bricklink came to $74. That's 54 more dollars than what I paid for them. Now, obviously I didn't need these specific pieces, so I wouldn't have spent all $74 but I definitely know that I'll use most of these in future mocks. All in all, I'm pretty happy with my bulk brick haul. And while it was definitely unnecessary to catalog all the pieces I got and check their prices online, seeing their value actually helped relieve any buyer's remorse that I might've had from getting a whole bag. Of course, now I actually have to use them. But what about y'all? Do you like buying Legos in bulk? Let me know in the comments, and I hope you have a great day.